Hey, hey, you're out in the garage with Easy Cheesy. Timing is everything. Just so happens when I get this uh, video up about the dual relief cases, somebody asked me about vapor locking, and this is a perfect time to go over that too. Um, this is a phenolic spacer and fuel rod guide, and if this fits too tight, into your engine block if you have a pry it have to pry it up or you can't get it down without kind of like pounding it down or you set it in there and and tighten it down if it's like sticky in there tight it could be and I've heard of this happening before that this phenolic spacer the metal of the block is expanding on that ring down here there's and it's uh, pinching the fuel rod and stopping the fuel rod from going up and down. You wouldn't think that would happen, but I know several cases where this solution was the answer and it stopped it. Uh, another solution um, could be an electric fuel pump and eliminating the fuel pump on the engine block altogether. The new ones I'm not real happy with uh, myself and I've had to do some serious fiddling with them to get the right fuel pressure. And I've heard of other people having problems with them too, but you know, it's like we always say, you got to use what you have and what's available. On uh, my 1800, it was created from a fuel injected AS21 case, and there's nothing in that space at all. They had a high pressure electric fuel pump for that fuel injection, and it was because of this engine and that case, which came in my Baja. And the Baja had an electric fuel pump in it, and it was running dual cadrons, and they were just a leaky mess back here, and there was just tons of dirt and crap everywhere, and it was obvious the carburetors were part of an issue, and it did start and run, and I got some gas dripping out of it. So I went ahead and ordered kits for the cadron carburetors, these aren't them, and rebuilt them and put them in, and couldn't get it to idle down and run smooth and I checked the fuel pressure and it was ridiculously high it was like I don't know it was ridiculously high so I put in a fuel regulator and knocked it down to like three pounds and it smoothed right out um, so that was one of my particular scenarios and this is a two liter motor running dual carbs and it's running an older new style fuel pump but this is not enclosed in an engine compartment everything gets rusty and it's exposed to the weather but it doesn't vapor lock and it's not likely that it would vapor lock and it's not likely I'd be driving this car when it's a hundred degrees or higher out here's another similar situation the tub buggy now has a electric fuel pump and this is just a dummy to keep junk out of it. I have the rubber hose that I've looped around back to itself because I had the 1800 in here. So I had to install a fuel pump and a fuel regulator. I used the low pressure model. And I like it because you don't have to sit there and pump your cars to prime it and if it sits for long periods of time. Electric fuel pump fills the float bowls a couple stabs and uh, she settles right down and, and runs and idles nice. But uh, if you look at a stock sedan such as Valerie here with the 1776 and this had some vapor locking issues uh, at one time or another. Uh, there's several things that you can do when you're looking at a stock engine compartment like this and I know somebody's going to be saying right off the bat well put on a standoff deck lid they look cool anyhow and it's a little aluminum plate that extends your hinges over here but when you do that um, I think they now make a modification so that you can use the springs but if you have uh, there was a problem with uh, my dual carburetors or something um, and I couldn't run 
the standoff deck lid with the springs and I got tired of carrying a stick around and propping up the head the hood or setting it on my head every time I wanted to work on it or check the oil or something so you kind of do away with the springs and the convenience that we're looking at here um, there's a totally stock setup one of the things you want to try to do if you're experiencing if you're not experienced vapor locking problems don't worry about it you run what you got uh, you don't have to change anything this is just for the guys that are having some problems the original style fuel line and I'm not talking about getting some old fuel line you got that's hard as a rock you can still buy this stuff uh, most Volkswagen distributors will have this woven fabric coated fuel line and uh, it comes in a millimeter size and it fits real nice and that also was designed to insulate the fuel in the line to keep it from boiling vapor locking is when the fuel boils before it gets to the carburetor and it, your pump won't pump a gas it's not meant to pump vapor it's meant to pump liquid if you run out of gas your car dies um, if it vapor locks it won't pump if it is vapor locking because the fuel is getting too hot along this line I I've had this car vapor lock so bad that I got out lifted the deck lid and I could hear it if you touch the top of your fuel pump here and it's just so hot that you got to pull your finger off or you're going to get burnt that's a sign that the fuel pump might be a problem if you have any cool liquids you could pour it right directly on this fuel pump and it might start pumping again but you got to get out of that situation you got to get moving usually it happens when you're in slow traffic bumper to bumper and it can happen if you're at high speed going down an interstate or some scenario like that on a hot day I remember you used to always see Volkswagens pulled off under an underpass someplace and somebody standing there the car just sitting there because it stopped so uh, you can you can put a little liquid on the side of the carburetor if that's too hot to the touch and it's not pumping fuel um, sometimes you have to take the air cleaner off and put a little fuel if if you run out of gas or if you have some extra gas you could put a little fuel down the carburetor and and uh, kind of prime it but uh, gasoline is a dangerous thing and I don't like messing around with it I don't like telling you to mess around with it you've got the the coils right here you got chances of spark and it's gasoline vapor that is very dangerous uh, the fuel line comes through the firewall as steel and then it goes to the woven line it goes to the fuel pump and then from the fuel pump you want that all insulated up if this isn't available and you're using a different kind of fuel line you could wrap it you could maybe take another fuel line and put over your existing fuel line cut it lengthwise you might take some of that electrician's uh, plastic loom and wrap it around your fuel lines but uh, one of the other things and the reason I made this video was if this phenolic spacer is too tight in the engine block it could be pinching on your fuel rod and causing it to seize so I hope I'm not wasting my breath and this helps somebody um, thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out